what do you feel about uh, Ezra Levent being interrogated by uh, the elections commissioner? Like this money being interrogated, including right now, so. <laughs> David Menzies for Rebel News in Toronto. Well, folks, I'm at the Old Mill, and uh, Peter McKay is going to drop by for a meet and greet. Um, I'm hopeful of getting some questions in for Peter McKay, the primary one being, uh, what does he think about the elections commissioner officers uh, interrogating our very own Ezra Levent about writing a book about um, Mr. Trudeau? And um, why hasn't... Anybody on the opposition aisles uh, last week brought this up, this grotesque attack on freedom of speech. Now, I can tell you, folks, I've already been told by people connected to the Peter McKay campaign, this is a photo op only uh, event. There will be no questions. Well... That's never stopped us from sneaking in a question or two. So I'm going to try hard to ask Mr. McKay, the man who would be opposition leader, the man who would be prime minister, to answer at least a couple of very important questions. To have a justice system that ensures people will be safe and they will feel accountable and they will feel that the justice system is there to work for them, to protect them and keep people from learning. Ladies and gentlemen, as a conservative, as a Canadian, as somebody who cares as you do, let's work together. Let's look for positive contributions through this competition. Let's look for ways in which we can have thoughtful and really principled discussions without vilifying those who we might disagree with. So David, there's no questions. I, I just got to see no, if I can ask him. No, there's no questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No questions. So you guys are preventing me from interviewing. I, I just want to ask one question, not there's even no an interview. There, there's no media. It's a it's a well, question on freedom of speech. You're welcome to get a photo. There's no there's no questions. So I, under under so under Peter McKay, it'll be the same as Andrew Shear that the rebel is not allowed to be here. We're here, aren't they? Uh, Excuse I'm me. Here, but, but I, I'm going to ask a question. Yes. Hi, Mr. McKay. How you doing? Just want to ask you, sir. What 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 do you feel about uh, Ezra Levent being interrogated by uh, the elections commissioner? This being interrogated, including right now. So, but but this is a this is a very important freedom of speech issue, Mr. McKay. I don't even know why it hasn't been raised in the House by your conservative colleagues. Do you have a comment on that? Well, they, you should talk to those conservative colleagues. I'm, I'm not in the House of Commons, uh, so I don't have an opportunity to raise it. What is your opinion of the elections commissioner going after Ezra Levent simply for writing a book during an election campaign about a prime minister? Well, I don't have any of the evidence. I don't have any of the information other than what I've read. So we'll, we'll see. You haven't heard about this? I have heard about it just briefly, but I don't have any of the facts. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, I mean, okay. well, there you have it, folks. Uh, it's kind of like the Who song: uh, "Meet the new boss or the new would-be boss." Same as the old boss, that would be Andrew Shear, the man that Peter McKay rightfully described as someone who missed an empty net on a breakaway. I guess Mr. Shear would say at least he hit the post in terms of popular vote, but of course that doesn't matter. Um, but you know, it's very disheartening. Um, I got that one question in. I don't think I got much of an answer. And uh, Mr. McKay said in his speech to his uh, supporters here earlier tonight that he was looking forward to thoughtful and principled discussions. That's right, thoughtful and principled discussions. Well, it looks like six days into the campaign, that might already be one promise broken. Not a good start. That is, if you care about freedom of speech. For the Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Ho ho, ship ahoy. Have you heard, folks? Rebel News is going on a cruise. Go to rebelnewscruise.com. Get all the details, and I hope to see you in July as we head to Alaska. <laughs>